The explosion rocked downtown Nashville, shattering the quiet of Christmas morning. From the air, this scale of the destruction was clear. On the ground, streets looked more like a war zone. All this began around 6 in the morning when police were called to the area to investigate gunshots. As also responded, they encountered an RV that had a recording uh, saying that a potential bomb would detonate uh, within 15 minutes. Witnesses say the recording warned to evacuate now. A bomb is in this vehicle and will explode. Then a voice started a 15-minute countdown. Officers scrambled to get people out of their homes, but the device went off just as the police bomb squad was heading to the area. Officials say it's fortunate the bomb went off so early when the area was empty, almost. There was actually a man walking his dog on 2nd Avenue that an officer stopped and directed in a, uh, another way just before the RV exploded. Uh, the explosion knocked one of our officers to the ground. Sure, that's a man and his dog. They've stopped. Now you'll see the officer come in from the right side. And the officer's speaking to him. Now listen, listen to him. Keep listening. exactly is being said because that would be of interest to me. Okay, and there's the officer right there mm -hmm. moving back toward, I mean. No one was killed, but three people suffered minor injuries. Police are now investigating the possibility that human remains were found near the explosion site. 911 emergency service was disrupted following the blast. Cell phone providers also reported service outages when their facilities were damaged by the explosion. The FBI is leading the investigation in what officials call an intentional act. We're putting everything we have into finding who was responsible for what's happened here today. Police brought in dogs to look for other explosives, but soon gave the all clear, though their investigation is expected to keep the neighborhood largely shut down into the weekend. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Washington. I'm going to show you some new video. Again, we continue to get new video in in just a moment here. I will hush, but on the right side of your screen, when we show you the video, you will see the explosion as it takes place. Let's show you the video now. All right, so that is the vantage point from a security camera at Cross Point Church in downtown. Thank you for sharing that with us. I want to make sure that you get credit for giving that video to us there through the area, but that is certainly a vantage point from that explosion. Listen to the, the power. Area.
That is a huge explosion. And that, and that really shows the, the plume and how big it was. And that dark, thick smoke, the heat then, that was associated with that. That's the kind of explosion you see in war zones. That is a massive yeah. blast. You know, it's interesting that you say that. My husband was in the military, he's deployed, and we were watching this earlier, and I said, what do you think, Ty, what's your perspective? While he's no bomb expert at all, he said, man, I feel like I'm back in Afghanistan. Yeah. He was like, that is a big truckload of explosives. That is a girthy, big, heavy bomb meant to do damage. Begin this Christmas night with scenes of utter destruction after an explosion this morning in downtown Nashville. Investigators believe it was an intentional act. Tonight they are asking for the public's help in identifying who was behind it in order to bring them to justice. Adding there appears to be no additional threat to America's beloved Music City. We do know that three people were wounded. All are expected to be okay. Police first went to the area responding to complaints of gunshots. They found this RV parked outside an AT&T building. The camper was blaring a recorded warning of an imminent explosion. Moments later, it happened. Take a look. Nearly two dozen buildings along that entire city block are damaged, some heavily. Amid thick smoke, flaming debris, and shattered glass, terrified survivors cried out for help. This horrifying blast could have resulted in mass casualties. It was heard across the city and felt inside the heart of a nation shaken by a deadly pandemic and so much financial suffering. We've got structural damage for at least one solid block. Witnesses say the Christmas Day blast was so powerful it could be heard two miles away. The explosion scattered debris for several blocks, setting cars on fire. From the air, it looked like a war zone. Several buildings had the windows shattered and their facades blown off. It's the FBI, ATF are conducting a large scale investigation to this point. We do believe that the explosion was an intentional act. Police released this photo of the vehicle they believe was responsible for the blast, which was caught on surveillance driving to the area. Officers responded to the scene after receiving a call about shots fired. Once on the scene, officers heard a recorded warning coming from the RV to evacuate now. Officers, upon hearing that, decided to evacuate the buildings uh, nearby. A bomb squad unit was called in, and as they were approaching, the blast went off. The blast happened around 6.30 a.m. Three people were taken to the hospital. Their injuries are not life-threatening. We had one officer that was knocked to the ground. The FBI tells CBS News they are looking at all possibilities around the early morning explosive act. And we're putting everything we have into finding who was responsible for what's happened here today.